Hi, it's Anthony Dudek here. I'm with Liam Knight. Scorpions are very proud that since about 2014, we've raised over $10,000 at our various junior and senior Scorpions dinners. Um, back in 2014, 15, we did some fundraising for the White Knight Foundation through uh, Dave Roberts. So Dave and Liam are cousins. Dave's a long-time uh, Sydney Scorpions player, Hall of Famer. Um, so I'm here with Liam today doing a bit of an interview for our Junior Regionals Dinner, the incident that changed yours and your family's lives in 2013. Um, following that, you started the White Knight Foundation. Uh, just tell us a bit of the reasons behind that, the money that you've raised, and I guess the good that's come out of it with the foundation. Yep. So, as you said, we started in 2013, and um, when we were at rehab, we... I was lucky enough that my story was kind of national news. So I had a lot of community support all around Australia. Um, a lot of people that we encountered at rehab, they had no one supporting them. And we just, we just thought, oh, they have, there must be a way that we can help, um, help these other people out. And it's kind of how we started about. And then uh, we decided, you know, we should have two kind of um, key areas here. And we thought, you know, more of a preventative measure to speak to uh, students and also help victims that have already um, need need help to get back to their feet. So over the past few years, we've donated um, about $152,000. Uh, I've spoken to about 7,000 students across um, many different organisations and schools. And yeah, we've, um, we basically go out and try to teach people, you know, have a good time, go out. We don't say don't party at all because I love doing it myself. But we just say, look after yourself, look after your mates, and just be safe when you do it. Time, you've had a lot of support from different organisations and celebrities, which, you know, helps get the message across. Anyone that you want to give a shout out to and thanks? Yes, yeah, so we're ambassadors. Um, we got people like uh, Carl Stefanovic, Ben Fordham, Katie Williams, Jacinta Campbell. Uh, we got Rob Scott as well, who's uh, one of the victims who uh, we supported, and he's helping us out a lot. and getting our messages across that we really want to help other people and change everything. Um, then we got sponsors like, you know, Macium, Purple Summit, um, Mammoth Design, uh, Taurus Marketing, who have really helped us kind of ex um, expand a lot. And they put us in a position where, you know, we're a charity and they've really helped us um, raise some money and helped with some much needed funds. Oh, that's fantastic. So the funds that uh, have been raised, can you tell us, um, I know that they obviously go back out to, uh, you know, victims and, um, but yeah, I mean, can you give us some uh, examples of where that money's gone? Yep. So, um, for example, we go to our Royal Rehab and Ride. Yep. Uh, we've given them uh, several bits of equipment, um, things like little bikes and uh, little weights training sessions that a lot of people in wheelchairs um, can use. And it's kind of just all changed up so they can they can you know get back into it get back into the strength training um, we've helped design houses um, to actually uh, support um, victims where they can't really get around too easily um, we've bought them bikes um, trikes you know things that get them back to normality and help them build strength and start getting back to where they need to really be Wow, that's awesome. So um, 2019, now six years ago, I mean, it's time flies, doesn't it? So what about yourself? How, are your, how is your health and how are you doing? Yeah, um, I'm doing well. Still happy, still here, which is always nice. Um, nah, I've got a uh, left side still pretty bunged up, but still working on it. Um, I'm going into surgery tomorrow to actually get my foot uh, reconstructed, so I help with job foot. So it's all kind of I've been coming in leaps and bounds, so I'm really happy with where I am at right now. Okay, so what about, um, I guess, a message you can give to our audience um, just about facing challenges, I guess, remaining positive? You know, there's been, obviously, I'm, I'm sure there's been, you know, challenges and setbacks along the way. What sort of is the key message that you'd give there or some examples we're dealing, uh, we're dealing those types of, types of things? Um, yeah, so I think a big thing that I used over the past six years was goal setting. Um, I'd set myself little goals and targets and uh, give myself a time limit and just say, this is an achievable thing that I can do. Um, it helped me, you know, overcome small obstacles at a time to get to where I wanted to be. Um, other things are just, you know, speaking to mates if I'm having any troubles and things like that, being open and honest with myself and the people around me. And um, yeah, I think those two things are massive uh, 
things in my life that I did that led me to where I am today. Wow, that's excellent. I guess um, with our, you know, under 12s, under 14s, under 16s and under 18s players, what would be the key takeaway message that um, you'd like to give them? Yeah, when you start heading out, always look after your mates, look after yourself, always have a lot of fun, just don't ruin it for anyone else. So everyone wants to go out and have a good time, so let them do it. Mate, that's fantastic. So um, thanks for your time today, and uh, we hope to raise some more funds for the, the Knight Foundation. Thank you. Thank you so much.